Hi everyone. Uh, if you watch any of my social media uh, channels, you know that I always wonder why um, when I was younger, uh, grade school, junior high, even high school, there weren't as many people that were obese or even fat. And I always wonder about that because I think about the things that I ate when I was a kid and you know I grew up poor so it's, it's not like I could eat tons and tons of food but what I ate was not healthy especially in today's terms so I'm gonna tell you one thing that I think is doing it this is just my opinion and now that I'm older I don't eat as many carbohydrates I've cut my carbs back a lot, and I'm going to specifically talk about bread. Now, I love bread. I love to eat bread. Now, when I was a kid, you know, I ate the sandwiches. I ate the cereal and um, everything that kids ate 50 years ago. Um, I ate candy bars and donuts, and my mom used to make the Kool-Aid, and she would just pour cupfuls of sugar in that stuff, but no one was fat. Yeah, we rode our bikes more. We didn't have video games. None of it. Nobody had cell phones. I mean, we barely had a phone, and you know, you dial it like this, you know, it goes around. That's, that's the phones, and you had to memorize people's phone numbers or write it down, or you, you couldn't call them. Um, but what I think is different is, like, for instance, let's take bread. I, it's, it's not, when I first started really getting my diet really serious, I really focused on cutting carbs at my age. And it's been very effective for me. Does everybody need to cut carbs? I'm not saying that, especially if you're younger. I ate so many carbs and I needed the carbs when I was younger. Uh, you know, playing sports and all that stuff. When I, But when I first started cutting the carbs and cutting out things like bread, it was because I was trying to cut the carbs. And now, as I've learned more and I've listened to more doctors and more podcasts on this topic and what's in our food, it's not the bread, the carbs that bother me the most or that I'm trying to eliminate the most. It's not the carbohydrates. It's gluten. But, you know, we had gluten when we were kids too. I think the biggest thing is glyphosate and the sprays that are going on the crops. The sprays that go on just about everything, fruits, vegetables, wheat, which is what they make bread out of, um, I think that is the biggest culprit. All the seed oils. Now, when I when I eat bread, you know, I go out to restaurants. I eat bread sometimes, and because uh, I mean, come on, you, you gotta you gotta live a little bit. And every once in a while, you know, I like to have a piece of bread or a piece of pizza. Um, I always get gluten free when I can. So I do it every once in a while, but when I'm eating at home and I, I want some bread, there's a brand out there. I'm not affiliated, but it's called Dave's Killer Bread, I think. You can read on that, and a lot of the bread it has, not only does it have sprays on the wheat and so on, but it also has um, seed oils, vegetable oils. You've got to, the bread is, should be made out of a few ingredients. That's it. And my wife, I'm really excited because she's learning how to make sourdough bread from all organic <clears throat> flour and all that stuff. So I can't wait for that. I ask her every day, hey, you, you, did you figure that out yet? Anyway, she's got some friends that are helping her and it's pretty interesting, but different video. So you got to read the label on the bread the seed oils the sprays the glyphosate the things that go on the food when they make this is really what i think is causing health issues which it, which 
in turn are causing obesity and a lot of these problems. And it's not just in the bread. It's in a lot of things, the preservatives, because sadly, you know, everything's about money and how can corporations make more money? Sad, but I think that's probably the biggest factor. Uh, it's not about caring about people's health. Um, I'll do something or put something in the in my product that's harmful as long as it makes me more money. Sad, but that's how it is. But anyway, that's my two cents, my opinion on bread and so many other foods that are making people fat that were the same foods, not all the same things in those foods, but I ate bread when I was a kid. I ate, like I said, all those things I ate when I was a kid, but I didn't see any fat kids. I mean, as a matter of fact, everybody was skinny. So anyway, that's my two cents on what's occurring there. And the biggest reason I try to avoid most breads when I go out or when I'm, you know, just grabbing a sandwich or something, I try to avoid that or I don't eat the bread. If you guys want to know more about me, you can go to stevemain.com. Uh, give me your thoughts on this. Tell me why you think this is happening. Why people are so, it just seems to me, and if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. No, people, people are way more healthy now. Okay, if you think that, tell me that. I just don't think that. But tell me why. What do you think? Put it in the comments section. What do you think is causing this? Because it's just kind of bizarre to me especially when I think back to when I was a kid. So let me know in the comment section and I will see you next time.